Bob, thanks very much. Joined out by Dan Dockich. And, you know, when you hype Illinois basketball, the signature guy, Dimitri McCamey, and uh, wait, you know, wait for the Illini basketball, and you can see McCamey, all this and that, and then we, we get on the air, we find out Bruce Weber uh, sat him out of the starting lineup tonight. Uh, good for Bruce Weber. You get to a point with a player where you've had individual workouts with him, you've stayed after practice with him, you've had him out to your house, and finally you just get tired, and it's been a battle. Dimitri McCamey, Mike Tisdale have given no leadership to this Illinois team all year long. It's been a very immature team. They have four seniors. All four of those guys have been very, very lacking in terms of their leadership and good for Bruce Weber. He just got tired of it, told McCamey to sit, told Tiz it'll sit. Example, at the very end of the half there, McCamey doesn't even get a shot away. How can you be a senior? You're a senior, you're a point guard, you've been playing every minute since you arrived on campus yeah. and you don't get a shot. And all of that, and Illinois still has a one-point lead yep. at halftime over Minnesota. Well, earlier tonight on ESPN at Madison Square Garden, there got to be a surprise. Not that St. John's won the game, but by how they won it against UConn. Under five seconds remaining in the first half, Malik Booth didn't have a great shooting night, but he was great shooting there. Johnny's had a four-point lead at the half. The second half, though, Dwight Hardy. Dwight Hardy, 33 points. Coming off 36 against UCLA, he had four straight three-point plays. Two and ones and two threes for 12 straight points in the middle of the second half. DJ Kennedy finding Justin Brownlee and St. John's wins. Again, they don't just win. They win 89-72. Dave Pash called the game, made a good point. He said, both of these schools now are 6-5 and five in the conference. Yeah, UConn is number nine in the country. St. John's is unranked. What, what do you make of what you saw tonight? I love St. John's. They are fun to watch. Out in transition, 29 to zip transition points. Now, that included five-on-ones where St. John's just got out and sprinted. That includes in the passing lane, steals, one-on nobodies. When you watch St. John's play in the garden, they are a fun, energetic team. i got to go back about six weeks. I was watching the Providence-St. John's <laughs> game. It was awful. Right. Now you watch St. John's play. They have great energy. We saw tonight what we saw against Duke, what we saw against Notre Dame, what we saw against Georgetown. A really energetic, fun team to watch. Credit Steve Lavin and the job he and his staff are doing. And for struggling UConn, all of a sudden, Kemba Walker was hitting game-winning shots earlier in the season. Now, not hitting any shots. He's uh, averaging some 15 points lately. His points are about down six, seven points a game. And they look bad. I mean, Jim Beheim looked, or excuse me, Jim Calhoun looked like he was completely frustrated. You can always tell when a guy midway through the second half goes to his bench and pulls a guy off that still has his sweat jacket <laughs> right. on. You know he's frustrated right. just searching for answers. Well,